deep in my heart. So deep in my heart. You're really a part of me. You're really a part of me. I've got you. I've got you. Under my skin. Under my skin. I've tried so. I've tried so. Uh, uh, something or other. Uh, something or other. I've said to myself, it's a fair. I've said to myself, it's a fair. Oh, darn it, what are those words? Oh, darn it, what are those words? <laughs> I'm sorry, I lost it up. Let's start the thing over. I'm sorry, I lost it up. Let's start the thing over. Ah! On top of those words. Albert Westbrook. Albert Westbrook. You're singing the wrong song. You're singing the wrong song. And everything, egad. Egad, you under my skin. I sacrificed everything, come to make me feel everything there. I sacrificed anything, come what might for the sake of having you near. In spite of the warning boys that come tonight, no repeat the repeat of mine. In spite of the warning boys that come to the night and repeat and repeat in mine. Oh, what is this? Look at the 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 Good evening. I'm Ed Burrow, and the name of this show is Poison to Poison. Tonight, we're visiting the home of a very famous motion picture and television director. Are you there, Alfred? Good evening, Ed, and welcome to my humble little sanctuary. Alfred, you have a very fascinating home. Thank you, Ed. And exquisitely furnished, may I add. For instance, that armchair you're sitting in is very striking. And very expensive, too. Why is it so expensive? <laughs> it's made out of real arms. What is that music I hear? Hi-fi from your phonograph? No, Ed. That's FM from Mortuary. Alfred, What's in all those drawers along the wall? Well, this one here, marked F, is full of feet. From here, it looks like it's full of hands. Excuse me, Ed. I'm so untidy. Where does that door lead to, Alfred? To my chambers. Your private chambers? No, my guest chambers. What happened, Alfred? I stepped on my cat's tail. That's strange. I didn't see any cat. There isn't any. Just a tail. Why, oh, I, I see. And this is my library, Ed. Very charming, Alfred. What's in that bottle on the top shelf? Old granddad. On my father's side. Beg pardon, sir. Graves, please don't interrupt me. I'm on television. Live, sir? Perish the thought. Are you going to do any other television besides your own series? Oh, I may do a ghost shot on the Scary Mason show, but really I'm very busy preparing my new cinema. Oh? What's the name of it? It's a musical called Death Takes a Holiday, cha-cha-cha, with an all-star cast. Goulbrenner, Perry Coma, Red Skeleton, Slab Hunter, and Mortician Saul. Thank you, Alfred, for letting us visit with you this evening on Poison to Poison. The pleasure was all mine, Ed. Good night, and good luck. In 
Have you ever been hungry in the middle of the night? That happens to me sometimes. And then I go raid the icebox. For example, the other night I did that. We had some leftover Welsh rarebit. I found that and a couple of crackers and a piece of celery and an olive. And I sat down in the middle of the night. I was very, very hungry. Oh, it tasted so good. You have no idea what, what it means sometimes in the middle of the night when you're hungry like this. Yeah, you have a little something to tide you over till breakfast. Mm. I just, it's one of my bad habits actually. I should, I shouldn't be up like this. But I get so hungry. this, but I look at a little olive like this, mm. and it tastes wonderful. This has got a seed in it, but I like them pitted, too. And you don't have to worry about the stone. Mm. I swear I do this <laughs> practically every night of the week. Not every night, but pretty near. I keep worrying that I'm gonna get fat. <laughs> so good celery. See it says here that the uh, things are the uh, X. Hmm. Things that says uh, the metaphor here. Five. Hmm. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking a course in visual thinking. It teaches you how to visualize your thoughts. Watch. Q. See that? Man, you're just a beginner. I'm an old hand at this stuff. Watch. Hey, a real watch. With moving parts, no less. G. Have you taken this course already? Oh, man, I'm a natural. Been doing it for years. What for? Well, I used to use it with my piano lessons to help me remember the music. I found I could picture the music just by going, da, 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 da. Oh? Then I studied chords, and I learned to remember them. Bong, bong, bong. Gee. Then came the more advanced music. Cantata and Fugue by Bach. Beethoven symphonies, all like this. The trouble was, I kept on advancing. And then I got interested in jazz. Oh, I don't like jazz. Jazz has a very different look to it. It moves, see, like this. Gee, I see. Yeah, and here's where it can get dangerous. Why? That doesn't seem very dangerous to me. Well, jazz tends to linger and you can't get away from it. 
You go this way, we go this way, and it stays right with you. Ah, oh, it bugs you then? Mmm, not bad. Yeah, it does. Well, uh, how do you get rid of it? Well, this may sound weird, but you erase it by saying backwards what you said forwards to make it in the first place, you follow? I'm confused. Well, in this case, I say, <laughs> That's wonderful. Do some more. Okay. And now you uh, take what you just said and turn it around. Right. That's marvelous. Do a bigger one. Well, this is where you can get in trouble, but I'll try. Now you say all that backwards and erase it? That's the problem. Why? I forgot what I said. We'll try. Okay. It's only getting bigger. I know. I'm not saying the first thing backwards. I'm saying something new. Well, keep trying. You see what's going to happen, don't you? No, what? It's going to erase us. Oh, no. Yeah. Help. 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 Yeah, this looks like a good spot here, Tex. Yeah, all right. Pour it on us. Hold up, Tex. Oh, 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 oh. All right, now. Nice right. boy. Which one of us is going to get off first? Well, yeah. Well... I'm gonna let me try to get down. First. All right. Oh, hold, hold, wait a minute. Hold, hold, hold up there. Hold, hold. Oh. Wait a minute. My foot's my foot's caught. Yeah, wait. Let me let me ride over there. All right. Uh, help me pull you. All right. Now so wait a minute. All right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, hold there. up. All right. Hold, 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 hold up there. Hold up. Face the wrong way. Yeah. Swung right around. Maybe you better get down and maybe you can help me off. All right. Wait a minute. Let me. Uh, I'll ride over back and see if I can help you. Yeah. Back him up. Now hold, hold, hold up, boy. All right, now, let me just swing my left leg over. Left to right first. Uh, swing the left one over and hang on with the right. All right. Good. Uh, there. Now, hold. No. Wait a minute. No, now I got one foot on the ground. Hey, come back. Ho, 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 ho. You got one foot on the ground. Ho, ho, Wish I could help you, but I'm facing the wrong way. Yeah, wait, I'm coming back now. All right. All right, now. Here, I'll bend down. Ho, I'll see if I can take Hey, wait, I got an idea. Right over under that tree and grab hold of that limb. All right. And then just hang there and uh, have the horse go out from under you. All right. Ho, ho, ho. Hang on now. I am. Wait a minute. If I apply this door, I'll be 10 feet from the ground. Yeah, that's right. Probably be too far to fall. Come on. Salmon friends. It brought to you by SK. Salmon friends. Brought to you by SK. The uh, platter they're playing on this TV show seems to have gotten stuck. It's got a swinging beat, but it's repetitious, man. Maybe if I just hit the television like this. Magic has me in a spell. Oh, black magic that you weave so well. Those icy fingers up and down my spine. The same old witchcraft when your eyes meet mine. The same old tingle that I feel inside. And then that elevator starts to try. Down and down I go. Round and around I go. Like a leaf caught in a tide. I'm in, one of the old black magic called 